wanna talk about this article that I saw in The Guardian. Uh, it's about the Oxford Dictionary. Yeah, it just got updated um, for its definition of the word woman. Apparently, until now, its synonyms included wench and frail, among others. Uh, plus one of its sentences that used as an example was, I told you to be home when I get home, little woman. Hmm. I've never wanted to physically fight a book, but hi. So thankfully, 28-year-old communications expert named Maria Beatrice Giovanarti started a change.org petition to have it updated, and it went viral, leading to the alteration. Now, I gotta tell you, as a lover of this dictionary, I'm so glad that people are out there doing petitions about dictionaries. This gets me so hot. Thank you. Thank you. On behalf of women and the dictionary, thank you. I still love all these little square pages of imagination, okay? I love how they feel. I especially love how they smell. Ooh, speaking of, I can now smell like a book all the time thanks to a new perfume from indie bookstore, Powell's Books. I actually was lucky enough to get to do a reading of the book I wrote called Wildflower there. The site Scary Mommy reports that the limited edition unisex scent is described as invoking a labyrinth of books, secret libraries, and ancient scrolls, and cognac swilled by philosopher kings. Well, I don't want to smell like that. Yes, I'd swipe right on that Tinder profile. Hot for books. That's right. Well, okay. Now, I'm so excited to introduce someone who I am a huge fan of, okay? Her name is Lucy Sparrow. So please welcome her live from her banana room. Lucy, are you there? Hi, Drew. It's lovely to be on the show. How oh are you? Oh my gosh, Lucy, I'm such a big fan of yours. I can't believe that I'm actually talking to you. Now, Lucy, um, is a felt artist um, who has exhibits in places like 30 Rock. You build complete bodegas and grocery stores and markets out of felt. And I just want to ask, how did you start doing what you do? Because it's so incredible. Well, I mean, I started off how every artist starts off and it's by keeping this childlike view of the world. I started making art when I was six or seven and I just kept making, kept working hard and I had my breakthrough show um, in 2014 where I made a corner shop in London and it went viral. I mean, so I have seen your products and collected some of them. They are the most beautiful, whimsical. You make fish. You make boxes of, like, products. You make groceries and hot sauces. Everything. It's unbelievable. When you walk in your world, it's like being in a parallel universe of joy. And I just can't thank you enough for coming on the show because I have been a huge fan for a really long time. And when they said that you were coming on, I was like, she is? Oh, my gosh. Well, it's really wonderful to be here and it's, you know, delightful that I can be here from the banana room. It's like, you know. It, I know. All oh, by out. the way, Lucy, hello. How you doing? Lucy, I'm a big fan of yours. And you can go to our website at thedrewberrymoreshow.com. And by the way, it's really soft. Wow. Okay, I was not expecting that. Um, you can peek inside Lucy's magical world on Instagram and our website. Lucy, I'm very honored that you would come on this program. Thank you so much for being here. I love you. <laughs> Thank you.